Hey there. Um, so I am accepting this girl's challenge. Her name is Ashley. She's 30. She says to send her a message on her Instagram. I won't share that because that's personal. Uh, her, her Insta is like her front profile with not a clear photo of her face. It's cut off right here. So you can only see a part of this in her glasses. She's got her hair coming down. She got some big boobs. But you know what's funny about that? This profile doesn't tell me on the reality of what she's calling out here that they say, uh, based on what she's heard, they say she needs a bio. So if you like a short, thick girls with attitude, say hi. You know what that tells me? She's probably not even going to have a nice moral compass about her, but we're going to give it a chance. She's got kids. She's from Altabor, Massachusetts. All of her photos cover her eyes. She never once shows her full figured face. She's always covering it. I don't know why. I, I don't. I mean, yeah, sure. I should have probably saved before I made this video, but you know what? It doesn't take very long. Here, let, let me show you show you how long it takes for a man to clear up some, some after shadow. This is like a magic trick. You'll hear the, the buzzer going and then within a matter of seconds, bam, it's gone. Not that I'm boasting about being a man. <laughs> But I'm 34, never had kids, never had a real girlfriend. Every single one of them has always wanted a short-term, fake, and yes, I do mean fake, type of connection. They wanted to use me for my house, my hospitality, my kindness, my money, which never really lasted long, of course. No, no. Okay, all right, almost done. <laughs> can't believe I'm actually shaving on this video. This is just showing how real I am. I mean, sure, I may not have the best situation going on at my house, but it's kind of hard to do everything when you're all on your own. You've always been on your own, and every person's dumped their problems on you. They, they've tried to mistreat you, take advantage of you, ruin your kindness, ruin your heart, ruin your soul. Never give you the opportunity to actually have a chance. Use you as some type of commodity or sex toy. And it's not like I just let women walk all over me, but my goodness, in the past, where was the integrity? Where was the moral fiber? Where was the kindness in their hearts? And yes, even some of these women, if not most of them, had children. And I was great around the kids, not that I actually tried to date the woman because they had kids, but because of either the respect and appreciation of them being a single mother who was working hard. Now, this may not look perfect, but it's at least like a wow. Oh, it doesn't take long for a man to clean up, you know. Uh, if I have anything left, it's probably just a little, little under here. We'll take a Venus razor, because women's products are the best, and they don't cut, and they are a little bit cheaper than men's razors. Not ashamed to admit that. Quick, quick little clean little dry with the blade you know a little shave here yeah a little shave there yeah. I actually shaved my head I shaved my back of my neck it may not look flawless but it's all my work I'm not proud of it that's what I gotta do to survive because at my age, I'm a single man who has had the same similar situations that a lot of women have had when they've tried to meet a guy. The guy uses her, he mistreats her. You know, that's how I've had it with women. You know, and they also tend to judge a man on his looks, his distance, you know, how far he's coming from, where he's been in life. You know, I don't smoke, I don't drink. And if I touch an alcoholic drink, which, for the record, let me zoom back here and show you all my booze. I got lots of it, but I don't touch it. That stuff's been sitting there for like three years. The guy I live with, this this uh, this drunk guy, he can drink two 12-ounce beers in an hour, and it's crap beer. It's, it's, it's Bud Light, okay? I mean, Bud Light's not that fantastic. I'm not hating on Bud Light, but you're not going to catch me sucking down and drowning my, my life woes in booze. You know how many times I see a woman's profile that says she's not trying to sleep around, she's not trying to play... She's looking for something serious. She's looking for a genuine connection. Well, none of them seem to be showing that to even be the truth. And I'm calling out the reality here live on my dating profile. This is me. 
me who's got a movie collection that you could only dream of, okay? Let me turn, kind of see, like a zoom into it. Those cabinets are filled with movies. Filled. Actually, sorry, they're on the floor. Oh my God, look at all of that. I got a surround sound speaker right down there with my gaming console, my 65 inch television. And behind me, that a tweeter. And over there, tweedledoo. <laughs> yeah, and, and the trebles underneath the bed in the back. Anyway, here's my point. We're gonna go ahead and send her a message on Instagram, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to see if she's real like she says she is. I'm gonna let her know. I called her out in my video, and maybe she'll be the one to change change my my opinion that there's just like literally no women left, like no real genuine women who have a nice, kind disposition and a politeness. I mean, I know it's not easy being a single mom, but a lot of women I find that hide their eyes, generally trying to just, they just use an account to set it up and then they don't even, they're not even trying to actually connect or they're only out looking for money. They're looking for you to add to their clout, their collections, their friends list, their number polling of all the people that they have connected with them. They're trying to see if you're willing to donate, send them a little cash, throw them a little tribute. I'm not saying that's her, but it's really sad that if there's any good men left, this is the world that they're dealing with right now. This is the society that we live in. People treat a dating site that's free, that doesn't charge money, with with like a I take it for granted kind of principle. And it's really sad. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to her. And I guess the next follow-up checkup will be, um, apart from me jumping off topic from that, um, what, what, is, what is the most fascinating thing that I've learned about somebody who can drink like the person I'm living with right now and being who I am to this day has driven me to the motivation of realizing how important mental health really is. And it's not even like I haven't met enough females that have shown me mental health is a reality check factor. There's women who have been through domestic abuse that I've dated. There's and, and a lot of them. And it's not because I seek out women just because of that. Um, there's there's been those who have had uh, you know a drug problem where they smoke too much ganja, weed, Mary J, 420. Uh, I'm sure there's other terms I'm not all saying, but you get the gist. Uh, there's some who have been through traumatic, post-traumatic abuse and or trauma or just family neglect. And their main priority is basically play the victim card, the victim card, the victim card, the victim card. And I'm not saying that every woman plays the victim card. I'm a guy who's been through some hard stuff and I would never pull a victim card. Oh my God. I would much rather be somebody's um, you know, equal. I'd rather be their, their mutual partner, somebody that they can look back and say, hey, I love them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got my movies back here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. don't let me forget all those. <laughs> anyway, uh, all these movies to share with somebody. I'm a single guy with a four-bedroom four, uh, four house. I've got the master bedroom. I'm working on cleaning it. My garage is full of scrap. And when I say full of scrap, I mean like pile high over like six foot tall um, or close to that, maybe five and a half foot tall with just copper going like eight foot long back. Okay. And then another side of just aluminum cans galore. Um, I'm second amendment proud. This is, this is my pride right here. Even though I'm a libertarian, not a liberal, I'm a furry. I don't dress like one. I don't talk like one. And I certainly don't act like one, but I would be happiest being able to be what I want to be in my own comfort zone. Uh, my dog, I've had him and he was adopted. His name's Orion. He's a real sweetheart. He's got a cone around his head because he's been battling an ear infection and poor little thing. He just got through that, I think like a week ago, and I'm just keeping it around his neck just to make sure his ear is all good while he's still in the last of his medication. Once that's off, he'll have the cone taken off and boy, will he be happy, but he's getting a new special surprise and that's this. It's what they call a dog. It's like a dog, um, what do you call it? It's a dog. Uh, what do you call? It's kind of like a, a like a cover, like a doggy head cover. It goes around them, like it comes up to here, past their neck, up to their ears, and goes over, kind of like a like a neck brace for like, yeah, kind of make them look a little. He's gonna he's gonna look real cute in this. I got him, not my favorite color. I prefer blue. I chose green and white because this was the only other match that I fell in love with this this color here. So this thing just goes right around his head, and he can't get it off. <laughs> Is what he's gonna be wearing real soon. Yeah, so this this is nice. It's a real nice fabric texture, really nice. So yeah, um, what I'm getting on is is like you know back on those topics I covered before in my previous and past videos was, 
yeah, the social norm is there's a profile. Somebody's got big boobs. They've got a nice smile. They've got a nice face. They've got nice teeth. They've got a nice, you know, nice uh, rack in front of them. You know, when I refer to the boobs or a nice body or maybe they uh, they just look hot. So maybe I'll, then I'll match with them. Here's my thing. I could care less about what's on the outside. It's what's inside. And I'm not saying that because that's a cheesy metaphor. It's a reality check here. It used to be said back in the late 80s and 90s. That's just a corny way of expressing to somebody that you want to date them because they you know because you're being corny or cheesy but in reality it's a general sweet and kind and affectionate way to express the reality of what is a sad truth to current every day people aren't dating people for what's inside they're dating them for what they see on the outside the exterior the plastic the fakeness the 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 shallowness and even for those who aren't trying to do that there's plenty of those who are all that stuff shallow exterior fake um you know shallow minded you know, narcissistic gaslighters, you know, they're a dime a dozen now. They're everywhere. Y you match with somebody, they send you one message, they can't handle communication. It's like they don't even want to check back and follow up. They, they, they started saying that they wanted a date, but they've got too much stuff going on. So why did they set up a dating profile if they weren't going to take it seriously? And for those who try to say that they're taking it seriously, but then, you know, get offended when the other person, like me, calls them out for not checking back, then they go off the deep end because they treat the other person like they're being too extreme. I don't think it's too extreme to care for the, for the value of the future for yourself and your kids if you're a mom with kids or if you haven't had a real relationship for the, your entirety of your life and it's one that's rare and unique that you don't know you maybe have that chance to find that connection with somebody and to just treat the other person like they're being absurd, ridiculous, too needy, too pushy just because they challenge you on showing if you really are serious about a connection and that's coming from a guy's standpoint. I would think most girls would wish to actually find that in a guy. But today it feels like, nope, ghost and block, ghost and match, ghost and not reply for months on end and then get pissed off at the guy because he calls her out on, like, why haven't you followed back? I'm really sad. I wish you would have responded. Where where have you been? You know, or, or like I do a lot, I basically say, please don't block me and pff, you better believe they block me. Or if I call them out on something and it's not even being rude, I get blocked for that. You know, it's like if you can't handle communication, don't even join these free dating sites. You're ruining a free place to find connections. What other free places offer dating? Um, I've, I've heard of Bumble. I've never really tried it. Uh, Plenty of Fish is rather old. Uh, there's eHarmony, which is a joke to me, honestly. <laughs> it's a place that I made a funny meme for uh, with Robbie Downer, Robert Downey Jr., who I actually match with in the in the campaigner thing that you'll see on my thing where there's uh, Rick Scott from The Office and Spider-Man. Those are my two favorites, even though I haven't watched The Office. I've watched The Office enough to know who Rick Scott is. <laughs> or sorry, Michael Scott. Rephrase that. Not, not Rick Scott. Michael Scott. So, um, you know, what I'm going to get at here is that it's important that we really care about our social norms and our lives every day. I mean, I'm trying my best not to consume myself with a lot of video gaming, I'm trying to do a lot of housework and cleaning. I know how to garden, uh, at least to some good degree. Okay, I can handle growing a garden. I could grow my own food. It's not that complicated. It's just the city won't allow me to do much here. So when I moved from Florida, which everyone I know down here would be like, good, be gone with you. No, the sad reality is for all you folks that say that, you're the ones who are going to be still be paying those high taxes, worrying about hurricanes. Finding a, that you've got a Republican governor and a Republican-led state with a high conservative uh, Trumpist, cultist-like feel vibe down here where the cops don't care about your real life unless you're being killed or murdered and they physically see it. And if they show up at your front door, the only principle they're going to show you is it's a bother to even come here. Why the heck are we even here? That's really sad. That's the kind of America we live in right now in modern-day Florida for this standard point. You can't even rely on your local police for real domestic situations. Even if you have a, land, a tenant uh, landlord situation like what I'm dealing with in this example, actually called the cops because he was drunk, because he had high amounts of beer, knew I carried a firearm, antagonized me. This happened like three months ago. I still remember this. Got the cops here and had them point their guns at me and make me turn my gun over. And I, I did it all respectfully. I put my hands up, put my hands behind my back, turned around, thought I was about to be arrested. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, if I have to deal with that from a person like this, imagine how many more people are like that out there that are seeking violence, aggression, and hate toward others just because their life is so miserable. They can't get up off their own rear ends and go to an AA meeting or quit drinking. This individual can drink four beers in two hours, four 12-ounce beers in two hours. That's not healthy. And and then they'll reach like 15 beers in a six-hour window. Okay, <laughs> all bets are off. I've already calculated since 11.58. He's already started drinking. He's on his fourth beer, and we're about to reach the fifth beer before it gets to 
2 o'clock. Really sad. It's really, really sad. Anyway, that's what he's doing. And he's aggressive. He's a gaslighter. He get up in my face and spit and be aggressive, but he spits just enough that it's not like he's actually spitting, spitting, but just enough that you can catch like a little teeny bit, but not enough to prove that that was an assault. And that's the saddest reality. And for all the females that are going through this stuff, through every relationship they've ever been through, hey, there's a guy out there just like you, but wearing the wearing the male gene, got the Y gene, got the double Y chromosome, and he's hoping to find the real genuine female out there, because why should kids have to grow up without a father? Or not even just a father, a male role model, a good close guy that a girl can find and connect with. My question is, does that kind of type of female still exist, and is she really looking for it, or is she just playing games? Because... 90% of the ones I find are, are basically not even serious. Oh, I'm too I'm too heavy, or I always get judged on my weight, or I feel depressed, or, you know, a uh, guy says something about a girl about her finding a way to be happier and lose weight or something. She is automatically treated like she's fat and ugly. You know, don't be so shallow and so quick to judge and perceive someone's intention by saying that you might be happier losing a little bit of weight. I, was, I wasn't happy, and I started gaining weight, and that's proof right there. Usually people that gain weight gain more depression because the estrogen levels gain. Estrogen is a known fat inducing growth inhibitor that means that the more the more heavier you get the more weight gain you get the estrogen in your body essentially climbs and estrogen is known to lead to depression mood swings and other functions not saying that only because that's a woman's gene and the normal responses but a man can become just as moody and just as bitchy and just as <laughs> feminine <laughs> so that's why i think it's interesting with our transgender community a lot of transgenders are struggling and trying to take pills and other formats to change. It's like, it's not that hard. Just eat all the stuff that in induces estrogen and you'll start growing, you know, female features in no time. Anyway, short point is, case in point, and what I was getting a reference there was how much food we have that's like that. Um, Yeah, we're going to shout out to this girl and hopefully I'll hear back from her. I'll do a follow-up video. And if I don't, and other matches, it just happened to be that she stood out because she's got that classic, typical, like, got the big breath and... You know, trying to look all cute and classy in her photos, and she's a mom. We'll see. We'll see. And if she is the one, then she's the one. And I'll be smiling. I'll be happy. And that's my saying. That's my shout-out. Thank you for watching.